Okay, so, so what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate for the composition of inverse sine of sine of 5 pi over 3. And when dealing with composition of functions, the way that I like to look at it is dealing with your in, innermost function first. So if I was going to take the sine of 5 pi over 3, let's determine where exactly that y coordinate is going to be. So the inverse sine of 5 pi over 3, that's going to take me to a coordinate point, 1 half comma negative square root of 3 divided by 2. And so therefore, um, what I need to do is, again, determine you know, what angle is going to provide me with my point of negative square root of 3 over 2. So I can now say it's going to be sine inverse sine of negative square root of 3 divided by 2. So really what I'm saying is the sine of what angle theta is equal to the negative square root of 3 divided by 2. Now, we can't use 5 pi over 3 because 5 pi over 3 is not within my range of my inverse function. However, I can use a negative pi over 3 because that does fall within my range of negative pi halves and pi halves. So I could also rewrite this. There's kind of two different ways you could write this. So therefore, you can just simply say your answer is negative pi over 3. The other way you could write this is by using sine inverse of sine of negative pi over 3. Since those are coterminal angles and negative pi over 3 is within your range, you can use your inverse property, which I wrote down here below, to just say your answer is negative pi over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate the composition of your functions. Thanks.